Hey, what's up, y'all? I got invited to do an interview for a mod pack and server called the Undetermined Kingdom, and in this part of the video, I'm just going to do the most important parts of the interview and just some of my thoughts on it during the interview process. Some of the gameplay will be playing over some parts of the video, and I hope you like it. I'll also be posting some of this on TikTok, so go ahead and check that out. Okay, I actually brought you here because I love the way you did your TikToks. I love the editing, I love how you talked about servers, and it really brought my attention in. And I wanted to give you commends about that as well because it, it really did bring my attention and I really loved it. Um, mad respect to everyone that works on the server and helps work with the server. This is a very ambitious mod pack and server. Everyone is really kind and helpful. Um, and they all worked really hard on it and are still working hard on it. It's getting updated at least every week. They do their best and mad respect to them for doing this. So like there's a, there's a couple servers out there that we have what they have. And the, the one thing about it is they're all on 1.17, 1.18 because they cannot update because their mods will be incompatible. And uh. I offer a 1.19 with their mods there is also a cool little intro video and kind of kind of like cinematic trailer that they made for the server um you can go ahead and take a watch here like you get to choose your path yeah Welcome to the Undetermined Kingdom. In the server, you will have the compatibility to choose your origin and your class. Do you choose to be an elf that is too tall, or do you choose to be an inchling that could fit underneath a half block? Oh, Whatever you may what choose, <laughs> you will determine your life. You may find yourself fighting your nightmares, exploring on the back of a wild beast that you tamed. After finding yourself tired and hungry, you pull out a sleeping bag to pass the night. When an enemy comes out of the shadows to attack you, which option do you choose? Do you fight with the mythic blade or do you jump on the back of your griffin? After your long journey, you pick up a book named Lexia Botania. As you progress to your next chapter, you discover the power of magic, learning how to turn flowers into power to enchant powerful weapons and fighting with the strongest wizard named Gia. Will this be enough for you or will you continue? If you choose the path to continue, you may lose yourself to the power of bewitchment. Casting curses, summoning demons, and brewing powerful potions. Also, discovering transformation. So, that was the interview, and 
the uh, some of the main points of the server. We're gonna move on now to the actual server itself um, when I joined and my thoughts on it. You can also see um, above me as I joined the server that there was a giant dragon on the map. That is cool as shit. So immediately as you hop into the server, you are able to choose your origin and your class. I chose at first the Inchlene and the Merchant. There is a way to update your health, so if you do choose Inchlene, you will be able to get past that four hearts of uh, life. And they have a bunch of different mods in here. As you can see as I'm running through it, the spawn areas and a lot of the structures are very beautiful. Um, they put their heart and soul into this. I can see they're really passionate about this mod pack. Um, quite obviously, you can see that you have the choice to have the natural survival experience or you can go into PvP and fight others. They have some pretty cool PvP situations going on here. Um, you can learn more in the Discord. I have it linked down below. Everything is linked down below that you'll need for this mod pack and its server. There is an interview process that you have to go through before joining. It is 17 plus and I encourage you to go check it out.